channel everybody today we'll be doing a long-awaited highly requested and finally doing a hood animation video today we'll be doing the hood animation on rx7 this is a drift workshop spec very stock well i don't know how stock but first what we're going to do unpack kn5 i already have my kn5 unpacked boom we're going to copy and paste into another folder seven there we go. Now go on 3ds Max. We're going to import that file. Scale factor one. This is not going to be. This is more of a med intermediate level of uh, of modding. So some basic thing things I won't really go over. So here's the car. What we'll do is we'll just keep the uh, all the dummies visible. We're going to go ahead over to this protractor looking thing and click on dummy. We're going to make a dummy gonna hit W to position it we're gonna right go down here on the X axis right click on the arrows to center it to the X axis now we're gonna position the dummy so it is right where we want it to where we want the hood to pivot so a lot of times or all the time the hood pivots at the corners of the hood I mean aside from old BMWs where it's from the front um, but we'll just do most of the the rear pivoting hoods we're gonna put this uh pivot point right right in line with the corner here and then height wise i would just do it about the same height like imagine a line going from this corner to the other corner okay we're gonna put it right there so we're gonna call this one hood animation all right now next thing what we're gonna do we're gonna go and hide these dummies just so we can see this clear um, we're gonna want to select everything that the hood that the hood has so in this case it'd be the hood and then these little plastic things these are already within a, a dummy so it's nice and nice and separated but so these will these are, like this is all that the hood has if there's anything else with the hood that you want like going up with the hood then make sure you select that as well but what we're going to do is we're going to show the animations or the dummies again. We're going to right click on the object side here. And we're going to add select to new parent. We're going to go up to the uh, hood animation object that we created. Select that. Now that will add these objects under that hood animation dummy. So now if you just click on the hood animation dummy, if you hit E for rotate, this will rotate the hood and everything with it along that um, along that pivot point. Make sure you turn on angle snap. This will make uh, just everything a lot quicker and a lot easier. We're just going to select hood animation. So just the dummy, not the objects in the dummy. We're going to come down here to select auto key. Uh, if you don't have this toolbar down here, go to customize, show UI, and then time slider and that should show that so go to auto, hit auto key make sure the hood is at a neutral where you want it to start you select auto key we're going to move this time slider i'm going to move it to about 40 40 out of 100 so this is the longer you do it the slower the animation will take to get to the final point so i've found that 40 works pretty good um it's like a reasonable time if i hit 40 then uh, with your pivot point on rotate, we're gonna pivot it up to, we'll say, we'll say here. Okay, so that's about 50 degrees. Now the degrees here and the number here do not matter. So you could do like, you do like super low, like 10, and then at 40 here, and that would just mean it'll take. I think these are no, these are seconds, but um, I'm not sure what the units are here, but. Until it gets to 40, it will only go to 10. So, I mean, it, it's just how however long you want the animation to take. Okay, so now that we move it there, we're gonna unselect auto key, okay? So that will de make it not red anymore. Um, we're gonna hit this one, hit this button here to go to start, and then we're gonna preview our animation. There you go. So it works pretty good. Um, why I have the pivot point back here is if you pivot it, it's pivoting along this area here. A lot of times people would put it like at the, uh, this part of the hood and that will make 
these parts like go into the engine bay which I mean eh, some cars do I guess but not a lot so animation looks good that part's easy and done select everything of the hood animation so the dummy the objects inside the dummy not the rest of the car just those three or just that uh, hood area file export selected make sure you do export selected we're gonna find our file this is why it's important to do a, a separate folder aside from the unpack just so it's like separate from the actual car and you don't have to go look for it we're gonna name this hood um, file name as hood and you'll save this as a FBX okay we're gonna hit save now this will come up the export menu uh, copy these here so just smoothing groups and preserve edge orientation go down to animation check animation the box and then go down to uh, bake animation and check check bake animation keep these all the same make sure units at one like normal units don't matter Y up binary FPX 2014 2015 hit OK okay now we're gonna go back and export the whole car now and we're gonna overwrite the the car that we imported now this is very important you're gonna uncheck animation okay and that would that would deselect everything else make sure everything else is good and hit OK alright so in 3ds we are done we're gonna go to our case editor open FBX we're gonna open the car first so current do, do, do. okay we're gonna load up the car Here is the car. Bright banana yellow. Okie dokie. Now, if you need to load persistence, load persistence uh, for all the textures and whatnot. So currently, if you go to the animations tab down here, there is no animation. So we have to open FBX animation. We click on the hood.fbx. And now our hood opens. Bada bing, bada boom. So now that we have that, where you can either save persistence, do whatever you need, just save CAN5 as normal. So we're gonna overwrite that. Save. All right. So as of right now, there is no no animations. Well, there's the doors and wipers. So no hood. Um. Yeah. No hood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the the folder of the car. In the animations folder. Okay. Uh, animations folder we're gonna go back to our um, that one folder we created you'll see that there's a hood.ksanim uh, file that was created we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that into the animations folder of the car so that part's done we can close out of the uh, temporary file we're gonna go back to the root folder we're gonna go ahead and make a new folder called extension Provided in the link below, there will be a zip folder for everything that you need. So what that will look like is, if you're opening up like WinRAR for example, extension config and a wing animations. In the extension folder that we created, in the, in the extension folder, you're going to drop the extension config in there. And then we're going to put wing animations inside data. Now, if you already have a wing animation, just put the values of these in there, um, and then just on like with the other ones. So now that we have those files in there, we're gonna go to our extension in the config. So you probably won't have any of this under the first extra A uh, animation. There will be a file. Make sure that is the same as the anim file name that we created so in this case it'd be hood.ksanim okay we're gonna go ahead and save that and we're going to go to data wing animations and we're gonna also make sure that is the same name so whether this be the hood the the rear hatch the sky's the limit you know there's there's no limit on animations which is awesome so make sure that's all the same name but now we have hood there okay so that opens the showroom how this is set up it will be bound to extra option a 
extra A. So you can always change the B, C, D, whatever you want to do. I have mine set to the letter A on my keyboard, so you could do whatever whatever you want to do. Go ahead and hop on in. Hit the good old animation A. Well, I have mine set to A, and I'm just spamming it. Not too hard, not too difficult. Um, all the links will be down below. All the files that you need, the configs, everything. Uh, join the Discord for more help, more tutorials, more content. Uh, follow the Instagram, subscribe for more. You know the deal. I'll see you guys later. Peace.